Let's face it, learning online is difficult. Students face problems and often have difficulties completing courses. These problems are especially challenging in massive open online courses, otherwise known as MOOCs, where completion rates average around 15%. In this research, we asked, how do MOOC students solve the problems they face? How do online learners persist? What are their strategies to overcome challenges? Researchers have looked at the huge amounts of data collected by digital learning platforms to explore learning behaviors in MOOCs. One of their findings says that when students have difficulties understanding content, they might watch videos over and over. Therefore, watching a video more than once might be a strategy students use to better understand content. But it's not always clear why students watch videos multiple times. For example, students might watch a video twice because the first time they were distracted doing something else. To better understand how students solve challenges, we interviewed 92 MOOC students. These people were between the ages of 21 to 81, and they were enrolled in four MOOCs. Most of these students were from North America. The rest were from South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. First of all, students described two key challenges they faced, time and intellectual difficulties. Students said they often did not have enough time to complete coursework. The time that they needed to study competed with life commitments and obligations, such as spending time with family, working, and so on. Students also said that they faced intellectual difficulties. They described that they did not have enough background knowledge or they did not feel prepared to complete the courses. Many said that they underestimated the level of difficulty of the course they signed up for. How do people solve these two challenges? Learners describe four strategies that they use to deal with these challenges. First, they used resources from the physical environment surrounding them. Learners printed readings, read lecture transcripts before watching the lectures, took notes on paper before and during the video lecture, and used multiple devices and modes for learning, such as watching the lectures on a tablet while taking notes on paper. Second, they look for information and resources outside the course to support their learning inside the course. Many learners purchased books on the subject they were studying, borrowed books or articles from the library, and found resources on Google and Wikipedia that helped them with their studies. Wikipedia in particular was mentioned consistently. Third, learners reached out to other people, online or offline, for support. They talked with coworkers, family members, or friends about course concepts to get feedback or to ask for help. Many created study groups outside the course learning environment using technologies such as Facebook, Skype, and email. The fourth strategy that students used was perhaps the most interesting. Their strategy was to stop or temporarily pause their efforts in a course. When demands on their time grew, when the course started conflicting with life priorities, or when the subject became uninteresting, learners paused or stopped. Their choice to pause or stop their participation was a strategy that helped them manage their learning. What are the implications of this study for practice? To provide better support for online learners, consider the following actions. Offer note-taking and study skills instruction. Provide course materials that can be printed or downloaded. Encourage students to develop a network for support within and outside the course. Create a course map and compass that helps learners find related resources online. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you like this, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.